Hey, this is Kevin Kiefer, and I throw for Latitude 64, and this is what's in my bag. So first off, I'm going to start with my putters. I putt with the Royal Sense Faith. Um, really consistent putter, feels really good in my hand. It's beadless, really like kind of domey, and uh, carries a really good glide. Um, I carry three of them so that when I'm practicing my putting, I can throw three putts. Um, I feel like it's really important to throw three putts on every practice shot, and I feel like it really pays off in the end. Uh, moving on to my driving putters, I have a Kevin Kiefer stamped pure. Um, this is in the opto plastic. Uh, it's really straight to understable. It's good for really long turnover shots. Uh, and really good for touchy shots too. Next I have a VIP harp. Uh, this is like super straight for me. It's like straight to stable. Um, liking it a lot. It's good for the sidearm. Good for kind of easy touchy up shots. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's also kind of gummy, which I'm enjoying that plastic more and more. Last but not least, I have an Opto X Glimmer um, Harp. This is just straight left. It's great for sidearms, great for long, trusting hyzer shots, um, great for in the wind. This is like my go-to harp. It's my favorite harp that I've thrown so far. Shout out to Cody Larson who hooked me up with this thing. Really sick. Um, I got some towels in my top compartment. Of course, I'm repping Latitude 64. And then I've got a bogey free bag that you can find on teamfiggins.com. Make sure you get a whole bunch of these. And that's pretty much it for the top compartment. Um, next thing I'm going to move on to my mid ranges. First, I have a Lucid Justice. This is beat in right now, so it's stable. Um, I can throw it pretty much as hard as I want. It's just going to go straight and then dump. Uh, really good for wind. This is kind of a um, get out of free jail card. I don't throw it super often. It's a utility disc more than anything else, but really like it. Good for flex shots too. Uh, next, I have two Royal Trusts in my bag. I've got this one that's been in my bag since I joined Latitude. Um, it's really beat in now, so it's flat to understable. And then this trust is just flat to stable. So feels really good, really good in my hand and goes a mile for a mid-range. So. Last of the mid-ranges, I've got a Warship. Um, this is like my flippy, war this is a flippy Warship. It's really good for bridging my fairways and my mid-ranges. Uh, and then I've got a Emac Truth, which is just flippy. I throw this flat or a lot of hyzer and it does long turnover shots and yeah. Feels really good, stiff. It's got the Zach Melton stamp on it. Again, got this from Cody Larson. Cody Larson hooked me up with like really great runs of discs. Next, I'm gonna move on to my fairways. First, I'm gonna start with my felons. These are Lucid X felons. They're straight left, great for sidearms, big hyzer shots. Uh, anything open, I'm probably gonna to go to these just because they're so consistent. Um, great wind discs, and yeah, they feel really stiff, which is something I look for, and they're super flat. So, next I have, I throw, for my fairways, I throw a Saint Pro. This is like long and straight, um, good for tunnel shots. Then I throw a Striker. This is my roller disc if I need to get something to turn a corner that's a little bit farther than a sidearm, I'm going to the striker. Um, it's really beat in right now. Um, or this is like a really long hyzer turn up flip shot. Um, next I have an Explorer, Optoplastic. This is again a stand up to straight shot. Um, I really like how stiff this feels and this goes very far. And then last, I got another Opto Explorer and this is more stable. Flat to like a little ante and it'll go hold it and then come out at the end. Now we're on to distance drivers. Right now I bag two rives. Um, I've got a first run rive, which is my really flippy stand up turnover rive. And then this is a just a regular stock stamp. This is a mist stamp rive. And this is my overstable, which is I throw just flat, maybe a little ante, flexes out and then comes back. Great for sidearm. This is probably my most sidearm disc in my bag. Just really controllable, 
Really great, feels really good in the hand. I can't wait. I'm gonna put more of these in my bag, but these are just the two go-to ones right now. Next, I have two adders. I have a VIP adder, which is just flat to stable. Uh, this is a good one. Anything over 400 feet, this is just a big hyzer. Probably going to throw this. Super consistent, super reliable. And then I have this absolute monster of a disc. It's like puddle top and domey at the same time. Uh, this is a VIP adder and it is just, this is like my favorite disc ever. Like it is straight left. I have to throw so much ante. I like, if I try to throw this disc, usually it means I'm trying to throw it like a roller and then it just comes out of it. You want something that is going to go straight left in any conditions, this is the disc for you. Also shout out to the die job. This is super sick. Got this from a friend of mine. Yeah. Last but not least, I got an enforcer in my bag. This is like a bridge between my tournament adder and my VIP adder. Um, it doesn't go quite as far as my VIP adder, but is less stable than my tournament adder. Um, so again, this is like kind of just a read of the wind. If I needed something to stand up a little bit more, then I'm probably going to throw this disc. And then last but not least, I have a war horse in my bag. Just really reliable. It goes shorter than my adder and my enforcer it's really dumpy super comfortable grip in rainy conditions this is the disc i go to it's like super sticky feels super good on the grip and yeah those are all the frisbees in my bag hey guys thanks for watching my in the bag if you saw any discs that you wanted to try out and go get go ahead and check out this elijah 64 store or check them out at teamfickens.com huge shout out to teamfickens.com for helping me film this video and you guys can also check out my social medias. It's Kevin Kiefer on Facebook or Kiefer underscore three L's on Instagram. Thanks guys. <laughs>